Okay, now that we've established who or what Phoenix Games are, let's scrape the bottom of the barrel even for their standards. If you're aware of the angry video game nerd, in 2011 he covered one of the most baffling things released on the NES, Action 52, a compilation of terrible, quickly thrown together, sub-early 2000s mobile phone game crap. But that only had 52 games. Phoenix saw this and thought, hold my beer, and released Dynamite 100. 100 games for you to feel your IQ and very soul drain away. So, let's fire up this questionable decision and go through every single one. Ooh, rotating 3D menus. I wonder if as much effort has been put into the games. My guess is no. Pingus. It's Pong, with a fireball and a voice clip that I can't make out. A basic but expected start. Safe steps. Memorize the timing and pattern of the blue squares and navigate the circle to the goal. Frustrating. Scissors. It's rock, paper, scissors. And it's two player only like a lot of games on this list because screw programming any semblance of AI. But no, it's not rock, paper, scissors. It's well, paper, scissors. Well, where did that come from? How does a paper beat well? And who uses a well to blunt a pair of scissors? <laughs> well. Fool. Yes, I feel like one. Stare at the 4x4 grid of circles and spikies, and see who's the first to spot whether there's an even number of them or not. Wow. Eagle Eye. A group of letters float around in the affinity symbol, and see who's the first who can spot one of the four PlayStation symbols. Non-stop. The PlayStation symbol appear. You press the button. That's it. Sorting. Coloured circles roll along the bottom, and you press the corresponding button to sort them. Okay, I knew this compilation was going to be die, but f*** me. Horse jump. Okay, this one, comparatively, isn't terrible. The white circle can only move the same way as a knight in chess, and you have to plan a route to collect the green circles and avoid the spikies. Not complete arse. Starlight. Another okay puzzle, but for a colorblind player such as myself, this is almost impossible. The idea is to form a white hexagon in the center by rotating the triangles. However, the colour they have chosen to go along with white looks indistinguishable to me. I had to point my phone camera at the screen with it set to black and white so I can see the difference. Bones. Place bets and roll three dice. There's no losing throws here, as far as I can see. Your score just adds more money for you to bet on. How Sisyphean. Double. More betting. Bet if the next number will be higher or lower than the one currently shown. This really is soul draining. Meteor. It's asteroids with really awkward twin stick controls. So, okay, but that's only because it's ripping off an arcade classic. Flow. Another rip-off of a good game, but with piss-poor execution. Quickly select a piece of pipe to get the water to the goal. Fanatic. It's Pac-Man without a mouth. I have no mouth and I must scream at this CD of crap. Jump up. Jump a circle over incoming sticks. This gets into Flappy Bird territory, but somehow worse. Separator. Attempt to get the different coloured circles into their respective area. This is tedious, just like watching this video and I'm so sorry. Focus. <sighs> Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Keep a circle within a bigger circle. Really. Hunger. Shi Agario. Next. Navigator. Don't touch the sides maze. Waiting for the slow-ass arrow to point in the direction you want to go is the worst part. Ferris wheel. Yet more betting with a roulette wheel that looks like the Wheel of Fortune wheel. Marksman. Line up the X and Y axis arrows to shoot a target. This is just as fun and accurate as an arcade claw machine. Basketball. Well look at this, some semblance of physics. Aim the line, and the length of the line is the throwing power. This actually works. Not awful. Lights. Are you familiar with lights out? Pressing a light makes the four adjacent lights either go on or off. This does the entire row and column. You can't just change the rules like that. Numbers. It's a sliding puzzle, but with numbers for added tedium. Colours. The vague instructions suggest that this is like Othello, but I could not figure this out. Target. It's clay pigeon shooting. Angler. 
The same concept as Kuri Kuri Kuririn, only impossible to finish with all full circles. Also terrible. Pool. It's pool with actual collision physics again. This would be okay if it wasn't like every other game so far. Slow and awkward to control. Race. Another mandatory two-player. Press X to jump over one space, and square to jump over two spaces, and avoid the spikies. The instructions do not mention this. Kamikaze. Like pool, only smashing your balls against someone else's balls to make their balls explode against the wall. Balls. Daman. It's drafts or checkers. Chess for dummies. Corners. More vague instructions. I guess move like checkers to move your circles to the opposite corner of the board? Checkers. Wait, actual checkers? Let's go back to Damon. Oh, Damon is checkers but with a slightly bigger board. How innovative. Follower. Try and get this awkwardly orbiting circle to collide with the other circle within a pointless time limit. Gravitex. It's Connect 4. 4? Why didn't you call the last one 4? Oh, it's Connect 4 again, but a top-down version. Okay. Tic-tac-toe. You won't know this one. Inversi. Ah, actual Othello. Works fine, but with the worst instructions. It only outlines the goal, and not how to actually attain the goal. Catch. Catch balls with your balls. Dropping balls will lose you a ball's life. River. It's Frogger, and a perfectly functioning version. Jump on passing logs to make your way to the other side. It's fine. Froggy. It's River again, but on a road. Do the thing again, but opposite. Now the moving objects will kill you, and the path they take is the safe part. Talk about padding. Mines. Weird hexagonal minesweeper. I like Minesweeper, but don't mess with a well-established format to avoid copyright infringement. Space Dragster. Race your rocket from left to right, burning up fuel. Then break off a rocket segment to burn that segment's fuel. Riveting. Labyrinth. Okay, learn the difference between a labyrinth and a maze. This is a maze. I know labyrinth is the cooler looking word, but come on. At least there's no David Bowie crotch in sight. Split. It's Tron Bikes. Try to get your opponent to crash in one of your lines, or one of their lines. Slice. It's Tron Bikes. Try to get the opponent to crash in one of your lines, or one of their lines, but with proper straight 90 degree lines this time. Rally. Another don't touch the sides game, but with an annoyingly slidey car that's driving on ice. Mini Golf. Simply try and get the ball in the hole within a set amount of strokes. It's mini-golf, but without any windmills, angry monkeys, or Abraham Lincolns. Hunt. Best your opponent by seeing who can skewer more balls. We're stabbing balls now? Chameleon. It's Simon, but you have to hold the button down before the timer runs out. The timer gets faster each time, and challenges your dexterity. And that's 50. 50 games where you can probably find better versions of for free on your respective app store. How did this get past quality control? And who greenlights this for certification? This isn't like back in the 70s and 80s where unofficial games can be legally released. 50 more coming in part 2. And again, I'm so sorry. <laughs>